So again, as I, as I assess the plant, I come up a little bit closer, and one thing that caught my eye on this tree is a co-dominant stem or a competing leader. Two, two stems that are competing for dominance on this plant. That in and of itself isn't, isn't horrible, but associated with that is something called included bark. And if you look at this structure here, you can see how the bark is kind of turned in on itself. And if you begin to load weight on either side of that, that structure, you could see how the branch and how, how the tree could give way, it could split down, down the middle. I worry about those kinds of structures. It's much easier to take care of those things when a plant is young than, than when, when the plant gets older, when the tree gets older. It would be nice to, uh, to reverse the calendar and go back two or three years uh, to address this even, even at an earlier date, but we could do something about this now. To walk away and do nothing might be inviting disaster for, the, for this tree. So we're going to try to do something about included bark and that co-dominant stem feature that we see. So you might ask yourself, well, what are you going to do with this, with this particular structure and it's not a good one? Well, we could simply remove one of the branches uh, right now. In fact, if we look at this uh, particular structure, we might decide that the one on the left is smaller and therefore should be the one that we, that we take off. Or we remove some of the weight on that branch and come back and do it at a later time. Do it gradually. Remember, you can take too much tissue off at one time, so we might decide to remove some of the side branches and then come back and remove the entire limb uh, at a later date. This actually is a really good job. All right, whoops, oh, look at that. This is beautiful. Beautiful. So, we've reduced the weight on that one limb. We could leave things as it is, as you see them today, or we could take the, the limb completely off. It has to happen sooner, sooner or later. So let's demonstrate that. One of the problems with included bark is that you can't get your blade in between the two branches to make a pruning cut. So you have to prune from the outside and miraculously meet in the middle. That is sometimes easier said than done. Here we go. I think we're gonna be okay. We got lucky. How's it look? It's darn good. So from the beginning, we've been talking about not pruning or over pruning. And my rule of thumb is no more than 15 to 20% of the canopy at any one time. You don't want to remove any more than that. We might have taken a little, little bit more than that here this afternoon, but this tree hasn't seen a pruning saw in quite a while, if ever. And so we are making up for some lost time. But I think the tree will do just fine and with any luck, we'll come back in 20 years and it'll be a wonderful specimen. The question I often get about pruning is what do you do after you've made the pruning cut? Is it necessary to use a, a pruning paint, a, a wound sealant of some kind? And current research tells us that we really don't need those things to, to paint on the wound. They don't help the plant cope with the wound or, or, or have the wound close any faster. It makes us feel better, but it really doesn't do much for the plant. Now, the one exception to that rule might be is if you have to prune an oak tree during the growing season. One of the underlying methods or messages that I'd like to get across today is that we never prune oaks during the growing season because of a disease called oak wilt. So we always prune oak during the, during the dormant uh, season. So if you paint the wound after you've made the cut, that will limit the amount of insect activity that, that might, might happen to that, to that wound and also reduce the chance of, of uh, spreading oak wilt, which is the disease we worry about with oak trees. But that's the only instance I can think of where pruning paints might be useful. Now, 20 years down the road, there might be some new products that we, we stand here and talk about. But today, pruning paints uh, are, are really of very little value. In fact, may, also, may, may even hinder the wound closure process. 